What is up? This is Colonial Puppet, and this is part one of a new series that I'm going to be doing on this channel. Uh, this is Let's Play SimCity 4 Deluxe. Um, I've been talking about SimCity 4 uh, for the past two episodes of my Let's Build Stadium series and how I wanted to do a series on city building in SimCity 4 um, and how I've had a history with this game. Um, and I thought I'd, uh, I'd, I'd just jump right into uh, Let's Build a... Or I guess not a city, because this game, uh, as you can see, this is like the region map. Uh, it's built, it's made up of multiple plots, so you, you can have multiple cities. Um, and I, I, at first, I, I already recorded an episode of this, um, building this map. Or I, I didn't build it, I, I actually extended a map that was already built and came with the game. Um, Kensington here you can see uh, I didn't build this 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 comes with every copy of SimCity 4 as well as Fulham Fulham I don't know how to pronounce that um, but uh, I, I thought I'd start on that city um, and I, it wasn't really going anywhere and I kind of wanted to start from scratch uh, the, the city was kind of messed up and poorly built and I just kind of wanted to uh, show how I build cities in this game uh, from the ground up so I'm actually going to start by creating a new region. This is the create new region button. Um, I don't know what to call it though. Uh, let's call it colonial uh, colonial land. Yeah, that's, that's really stupid. Um, <laughs> man, I don't know what to call it. Uh, colonial colonial. Uh, oh man blanking on the name. I didn't think about this before. Let's just call it Colonial. Colonial Land. It's stupid, but whatever. Alright, and cool. Uh, these are randomized, uh, and there's a total of three uh, sizes, small, medium, and large. Uh, sometimes when you create these, uh, it only makes medium and small. This one luckily has the large um, plots, and we're actually going to start with the large plot. Um, start with this one in the corner and uh, usually I start off with like a um, agricultural center and kind of work my way up so this this region or this uh, plot is probably going to be like the agricultural town and we're going to move up to uh, like kind of suburbs and then finally get like hopefully a metropolitan area because a lot of these game uh, well, this game primarily depends on um, how plots interact with each other so you could build roads and rail and whatever going out of this uh, leading out of this region and um, uh, what you build here will affect other uh, cities around it so um, let's just get jump right into it uh, let's call it let's call this t not Titan City because this is going to be agriculture let's just call it um, it's easy, medium, or hard. I think this only affects what um, money, how much money you start off with. Let's go easy. Um, get the celebratory fireworks. Um, and let's jump right into it. I always start in the corner. <laughs> um, and let's build a um, these are like the, this is like the go-to, um, power plant, although there's a cheaper alternative, which is coal power plant, which costs like a little over half as much, but produces twice as much, um, power, but we don't need that much power to begin with, and since this is going to be an agricultural, uh, uh city, I, I want to keep the environment in mind and not pollute if I don't have to, uh, which I don't. Um, I'm immediately going to start with building an agricultural zone, but all the way over here. Um, zone is too large. There we go. Gonna build, let's build three. Actually, let's build four. Wait, how do I do this? 
Never mind. Uh, let's just do three here. Already spending a lot of money on these zones, but that's okay. Alright. But now it needs power, which is fine because we have a power plant. to get out of the city. Um, roads are kind of tricky in this game, especially when the city starts to grow and you have to replace roads with like bigger... Uh, the default is streets, but you, you, you're gonna have to like start replacing them with avenues and one ways and just plain old roads um, to help with traffic and whatnot. And I always them with roads right off the bat. Not all of them, but some of them. I'm probably going to leave this, these streets uh, how they are. Um, and that little window that's popping up, create a connection, that just means that this road is continuing out of this, this plot of land and is going to show up on the city next to this uh, plot. Make sure that they're connected. Uh, one issue is I don't have power here. I know it doesn't show it, but to do that I'm going to create power lines. And the reason I, why I didn't build it just right there, or why I didn't start plotting here, is because I want it to be as far away from any pollution as possible. Let's, let's speed things up. Got two farms. <laughs> Now I think what it wants is um, housing, so to do that, gonna zone for houses, and I'm going to separate everything by avenues, um, just because I want to make sure that I, I'm like a perfectionist when it comes to roads. Cut these in half like that. And then I'm gonna let the random zoning determine like the where the other ones go. That's uh, I don't know why I did that. Actually I'm gonna rezone that. right now. Just asked if I wanted to build um, the mayor's house, which I'm going to do very soon. But first, I want to kind of not decent. Let's build some commercial right here, just because for some reason it really wants me to build roots here and here and one here. Alright, so they really want housing. Our agriculture is taking off. Looking pretty good. Power is just doing its thing over there. Um, let's add some housing. Let's see it. Making a lot of money. Well, not too much, but enough. That looks alright. This is too large, I just built that. Okay, whatever. Um, 
the grid kind of got a little weird. Actually, you know what? If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it right. And this is probably wasteful, but... Oh well. I hate not having... Oh yeah, we're gonna run out of power. Gotta build power lines. I don't know why that one roads off, but oh well. Let's hit shift, and we can determine how we want this. Awesome. Now they probably don't have power again. Cool. Speed things up. Get a bunch of houses in. Awesome. Let's see. They want agriculture. They also want dirty industry, but I don't want dirty industry right now. I don't want to deal with that pollution. Because right now our environment's doing really good. Although, for some reason, we have a negative tick. Don't know why. Uh, okay. No, no education or health. No safety. Land values kind of taking a news dive. Um, that won't be a problem now. Once we get enough money and enough industry out making us money, um, I can start dealing with things like safety and water and trash and all that good stuff. out there. recognize a lot of this music because I use it uh, in my videos. I pull from the soundtrack of this game all the time. If I need like a, like a lot of my um, time lapses use music from SimCity 4. Because it is one of my favorite, if, if not my favorite, um, video game soundtrack. Of all time. out because I do not trust the the randomized roads or like the, the algorithm they use to build roads when you uh, plot things. Oops, don't want that there. Cool. Let's see what our Ooh wow we're making a lot of money. Monthly income expenses, that's pretty self explanatory. Um, so we're, we have a surplus right now, which is good. Um, what else do they want? They still want more housing, which I will deliver. Um, extend this road out to like here. And extend these. Like so. This will all become housing, low density housing. I'll start, um, I'll like explain the importance of the other densities soon. Um, and why I'm using low density right now. Alright, alright, 
are starting to become aware that they need things like <laughs> uh, education and water is probably going to be the next big thing they want. Like public water limits growth. That was not um, rehearsed. <laughs> Industry needs room to expand. I know. I mean, technically, agriculture is an industry, so I guess I could keep getting away with industry unless there's a. They want dirt industry, or dirty industry is what it's called. Which is like the big polluting kind of industry. Which I do not want right now. I want, I want this to be an agricultural hub. Which it pretty much is right now, as you can see. A lot of agriculture. Oversaturating the market with agriculture right now. This is like Lancaster. Lancaster, PA. A lot of Amish. Build this out more. the one bad thing about agriculture is it takes up a lot of space. Come on. I'm trying to get it perfect. There we go. Um, it's been an avenue. Yeah, they want education, they want water, they want health uh, care, which are things we do not have right now, but could probably afford easily. But since I am being frugal, they need to be introduced to the public. extend this to um, to become some more um, residential zoning all right more low density Basically rewards for being neighborly. What am I spending all my money on? Transportation department, roads, seaports, airports, road services. Yeah, there's a lot of roads in this. Not spending anything on mass transit yet. Could bring that down a little bit. Uh, city ordinance, let's legalize gambling. That gives us $100 a month. Um, and if I build a casino, that'll give us $200 a month, but... Making a lot of moolah. I'm gonna make back my 500, and then I'm gonna start um, caring for my people, because <laughs> I have yet to do that. I have to start paying for things like water. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna rezone for medium density, which means they're gonna build up instead of out. But they don't want to do that right now because this I don't have a lot to offer as a mayor. Um, I don't even have running water yet. Which you'd think like no one would want to live here unless you had that, but I guess the game wouldn't work if that was the case. Of rezoning. So now if they want to rebuild, they'll probably build a lot bigger. Um, let's start dealing with water, because that's a big thing. Um, 
Boom. Let's see how everything's doing. Environment's doing good. I know a way of making environment even better, but I'm not going to do that yet. I could also make traffic better. Um, that is a public transportation option. Cuts down on traffic, which cuts down on emissions, which makes your environment even better. It does take into account. Um, yeah, look how bad the traffic is. It does take into account um, pollution from cars. You can see on the big roads, uh, there's some pollution, air pollution, just that yellow. Um, it's putting pipes in. Sorry, I totally lost track of what I was doing. I always try and keep them in the roads, or the pipes under the roads, not like build under houses and stuff. I don't think it faults you for building under buildings, but eh. following the grid is always a plus, especially if you're like a perfectionist. Build there, I don't know why it's not filling up. You have to hit play. Yeah. Alright, so all those guys have water. The residential and financial, however, we're gonna have to water all of our farms, which is gonna be quite the task. Except Yeah. That's another thing about agriculture. It's so big that it's a pain in the butt to water. And also expensive. I might have to build another water pump, which I don't know if I have enough for. Might take my budget into a deficit, which I do not want. This early, when I don't even have any fire departments or police departments or hospitals or anything. Um, but those things will come. Once, like, I, 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 I don't think you really can win this game. You certainly can lose it. Um, I guess it's kind of like Civilization. Uh, you have this little gift box section, and if you unlock all that, I consider that a win. Spaceport's like the last thing you win. Advanced Research Center. I've gone to Advanced Research Center. I don't think I've ever unlocked the uh, spaceport, though. Uh, hopefully that will be the objective of this series, is to unlock the spaceport. Um, we're not going to unlock everything, though, because this whole city, or this whole region is landlocked. And one of the things you can um, unlock is a uh, cruise ship port, which obviously we're not going to be able to do, because we do not have any water. I might like try and cheat it and put like a lake on one of the uh, one of the bigger plots of land, but nothing at all like mess with the borders. All right, so they're all watered. See if that makes people happier. And also, what did it do to our budget? Now we're still raking in the dough. They don't want housing anymore. They just really want agriculture and they really want um, um, dirt industry, which I'm not going to give them yet. I'm going to break down and build industry sooner or later probably have to replace that clean or cleaner um, uh, power plant with the coal power plant if worse comes to worse. I'm gonna hold out with the natural gas power plant as much as possible but I might have to start polluting soon. This game like you have to pollute in order to build a good city which is realistic I guess. Um, the nuclear power is really good, so hopefully the city grows and I can afford that down the road, but always in the beginning you're going to have to build like a coal power plant, 
because it's just too financially like viable. It's perfect. It's like 250 bucks a month, and you get twice as much as the nat natural gas power plant, and it's. avenues as possible because there's no rail yet and they need to get their products out. However, there aren't any neighboring things, so I don't know how much you're actually trading. Other airports are also an option. Flood, no, we don't need that right now. The large water pump is so overpriced. Let's look at it. This costs 350 a month, this costs 3,150 a month. Although to be fair, this produces 200,000 cubic meters a month, and this produces 20,000. Uh, I guess the math makes sense, but we're not using that yet, so that much water yet, so I don't know why he offered me to build one. Especially when that would totally destroy our budget. Although, our expenses seem to be growing. Why is that? Yeah, it's still a thousand. Now, what am I talking about? No, our expenses are alright. I just thought we were paying a lot less. I don't know why. I know it can be cheesy at times, but I love it. it could be nostalgic kind of thing, but oh well. should be making four thousand soon. Yeah, I'm looking at our expenses, our income. Is it twice our expenses? So we have quite the surplus, which is good. Yeah, more than twice our, our expenses. So we're making bank right now. I'm going to let it coast. I'm actually going to cut right now and cut back to when I have 500,000 again. I won't really build anything, and if I do have to end up building something, I'll let you guys know when I cut back. So I'll see you once our our, um, our uh, budget is back up to 500,000. Alright, I'm back, and as you can see, we're at 500,000, so we're a little more than 500,000 actually. Um, I did have to build one thing. I had to build a fire department, which is... Where did I put it? Also, we're having trash issues, as you can see by the road. Uh, we need to build a uh, landfill. Um, but where did we... Oh, the fire department is right here. Because uh, there was a fire, and didn't have any fire protection. So I had to break down and buy a fire department. Um, I'm going to keep on keeping on by extending the agriculture even more. Um immediately takes me under 500,000 again, but that is okay. This is going to make me even more money. Awesome. Build a road. Um, I don't know what I'm going to tackle first. There's so much that needs to be done, <laughs> to be honest. Um, Got to build... Better transportation system, public transport, rail, subways, um, uh, schools, hospitals, police stations, all that stuff. Um, I just kind of added a quarter of our total uh, agricultural space in new zones, so... Let's see. All right. My frame rate is going awful. Building a lot. All right. 
building even more. Awesome. Um, so I think that's all filled in now. Yep, except for one plot. That should fill in soon. Yep. There it is. Making back our money. Let's see what our expenses are. Or our uh, income. If you're making a thousand dollars from agriculture, three hundred from uh, residence is where it's at. Though we're making two thousand, and that's only this little space right here. Uh, so we're gonna start taking care of them because. everything. There we go. Simsy poor pr prospects, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm helping them out now. Got trash. Let's see how quickly that blows up. Oh boy. Wow. So as you can see, we needed a landfill pretty badly. Yep, they can barely put the tr lid on. Let's see if that fills up even faster. What is going on? I don't need a city hall right now. I don't know what this is. Um, let's do this. That is expensive. Sanitation department. Alright, let's get rid of squares we're not using. Um, just by dezoning that. Dezoning that. Dezoning that. I don't know what that is. But we can get rid of that. That's like a weird glitch um, that I've never experienced before. Um, and we can get rid of that by building a... Holy shit, look at our expenses now. Why is that? Sanitation, holy shit, you're costing me so much money. Let's bring that down a lot. Trash is a bad thing, but it doesn't warrant that much money. Start taking care of our people. Starting with um, health. Let's build um, a school and then education. Let's build one school. See how that does. That is encompassing most of the housing, but not these corners. So I'm going to build a high school. It's a big high school, I'm a little high school. The little high school here, and a um, a library here. Cool. Um, health, let's build a medical center here, or one here, and one here. And that encompasses most people. And then let's see how that does. Alright, now they're going to immediately start complaining about funding. Because I waited a very long time to implement education, so there's probably a lot of people. Who can underfund that to about 44. I can fund. I might immediately have to destroy the school and replace it. I don't know. Oh wait, yeah I do. All right. So that school is already over capacity. So I have to replace it with a large elementary school. The 
so that does. It's probably going to cost a lot of money, but then I can adjust the education, or the, um, I don't know. I'm matching the number of students with the student capacity. It's not going a little over. Just gotta keep it nice and funded. Uh, let's see how this library's doing. Library's doing good. Holy shit. I don't need to pay that much. Bring it down to 32,000. Or 3,200 bucks. Alright, so that's taken care of. Let's see. Medical staff. That's still good. That's not. Alright, so we need a hospital. An actual hospital now. Um, so I'm going to build a hospital here. Let that run for a month. Farmer's market, yes. Farmer's markets are always good. Let's build it here. Um, now let's see how much. Alright, so capacity 3,000 but only 1,000 patients. Let's balance that out. guys are getting taken care of. Let's see how their water's doing. Got water. Um, what else? Police. Don't need police right now. Uh, let's build a fire station here. Can go with the fire station. lot of agriculture. Um, I have the money so I'm going to start working on public transportation and just um, upgrading these roads. Especially now that there's a farmer's market. Um, a lot of the um, like transportation or like transport trucks and stuff agriculture are going to be coming into the this part of town to sell their stuff at the farmers market so we're going to need to upgrade the transportation which is fine. I'm gonna destroy some houses along the way but that is okay acceptable losses upgrading to roads and then I'm gonna immediately upgrade to one way because one ways help the flow of traffic up down up down like that I think I could do the same thing this way Although you have to upgrade them their roads first, you can't just um, go straight from street to um, uh, uh, one ways. You have to like increment, incrementally upgrade them. Oh, I do not want to destroy all that. The city's starting to take shape. It's definitely not a city, I guess. It's more of like an agricultural town, rural area. 
Alright, then let's go to one ways. Like so. Up and down. Oh wait, can't do it there. So that's just gonna remain That's gonna remain a road, which is fine. Can't just have nothing but one ways. Now for public transportation. Actually, before I do that, let's do a, let's do rail. Um, one good place to do it. Destroy all these houses, but oh well. Might have to. Actually, I'm gonna have to de-zone a lot of that. Oops. Oh well. Actually, I probably shouldn't have built over that guy. I probably should have just destroyed his thing and then rezoned. Uh, which is what I'm going to do now. So. Oh, I'm going to that. Awesome. So now I'm going to. Actually, before I dezone and rezone all that, I'm going to um, uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, gonna make sure that the rail is going to as many places as possible. So, I don't know, I have to go straight. Yeah, that. quite a few farms. Just the ones where I destroy like the actual building of it. So this one is gonna be dezoned and rezoned. Which one? Which other one? This one. Dezoned and I oops destroyed. Road by accident. Reason. Freaking music, man. I love it. This. Of course, I destroyed that road. Excellent. Um, what am I looking for? Yes, this. I'm surprised it hasn't given me the option to build a, um, a runway, a fire department runway. Which is a um, like an an airplane that drops water. You can actually build that. It's uh, right here. Fire department landing strip provides widespread fire co coverage. That is true, and it's really good for agricultural kind of areas because there's large expanses that you can't really cover with just one fire department. 
And we're gonna have to build around. Unfortunately. For now. This is kinda like a quick and dirty rail system. I should probably be putting more thought into, but I'm not, not unfortunately. Um, I have to rezone this because these are not going to be built because of the um, can't it won't have access to roads. So, so build like that, which is fine. Um, and now I have to actually start building train stations, so let's build a um, freight train station and a passenger train station. I'll build that here. And then let's build a freight train station. Oh, fuck. What does that? Just kind of flips out doesn't build where you want it to. Let's build it here. Let's space them out. So that there won't be too much traffic in a particular area. Fire protection spreads thin. I know it wouldn't be spreading thin if you gave me my my landing strip. Let's build a church. People will build more. Grave need no. House for the new no. I just build a church now. Uh, no one has jobs. Great. Might have to break down and start building dirt industry. State fair, yes. Let's build state fair. Because. Let's do this. FN home. Let's rotate it. Also, let's look at how much better the traffic is now that we implemented all that stuff. Uh, traffic, 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 traffic. Here it is. Yep, a lot better. Everything's green now, minus this. Is that a street? That's a street. Let's fix that. Um, oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to do. Let's replace all these streets with roads. This will be the last thing I know I do. This is kind of a long um, long series. Except build this street out. This is faster. I just build them in sections. So freight has plenty of options on how they will get to and from the city. Got roads, got avenues, got rail. Um, people can use rail, although there's only one passenger station. I might want to put one here as well. Also, bus stops is something I'll do next episode. Bus stops are very important for environment and for traffic levels and all sorts of stuff. And then subways and all that good stuff. Also, city ordinances are something that people overlook a lot in this game. Like water conservation will save you a lot in terms of having to build water uh, pumps and stuff. So actually I'll do that now, if I have enough, I don't have enough, I have a negative budget, I'm in a deficit right now, 
but if industries start building, I should make some more money. I don't know why those farms aren't filling up. Maybe because there's a railway running through it? I don't know. At least the people are happy, I think. There's with jobs, that is. Um, let's look at desirability. Anyone to build anywhere? Okay. Wow. Agriculture, everything seems pretty desirable. Same with high tech industry, although they're probably not going to be building that much here just yet. Although, let's see how education is doing. More people are going to high school, which is good. Number of students, good. Might build a community college next episode, uh, but we'll worry about that later. It might actually have to start another city next episode so that this city can start trading with it and get better. Because <laughs> a lot of these, uh, I don't know, need more jobs and whatnot. Or I might have to break down and make an industry section and deal with this, whatever this is. Um, but yeah, this has been Colonial Puppet. Be sure to check out the next episode when it comes out. Don't know when that's going to be. Um, but yep, yeah, uh, have a good day. This is what we have. This is our city. Um, pretty cool. So I will see you next episode.